Now we can haul off everything. First on the list, we got this plush of Raphael from Ninja Turtles, 1980s. This is a newer plush, and it, you can hang it on your wall. I barely know how these work, but they're just so cool that I actually picked these up. Because I'm a huge turtle fan. 1980 turtles were not my favorite, but I do pick them up whenever I find them. But now, let's look at our entire toy haul, one figure at a time. First on the list, we got this cool-looking dragon. This is going in my Dungeons & Dragons collection. This is seriously cool. Look at that. Mouth opens and everything. Oh, I love it. Next, we got a couple of Transformers bootlegs. Yes, these are bootleg Transformers. And they are... Like, knock off Michael Bay bootlegs. <laughs> yeah, so I do like picking these up. But it's rare I find these complete, not even broken. This, These will make a nice video if I do say so myself. Got knock off Chevy Camaro Bumblebee and knock off, like, skids if you want to be specific. It's like a skids color. Those will go on my Transformers review bucket list. Speaking of Transformers, we got a Transformers GoBot. I have not found one of these before, but I've always wanted one. I don't know who this GoBot is, Transformers GoBot is. If any of you know, leave me a comment, but he is definitely going to be reviewed. He is just too cool. We got like a newer style figure, and this is one you didn't. Ex I didn't expect to find at the thrift store. It's Transformers Rise of the Beast Battle Armor Bumblebee. Yeah, it's my boy Bumblebee. Love this figure. We'll definitely review him. He is too cool. So, yeah. Look forward to reviewing him. Got a Minecraft TNT... Minecraft TNT block. Like, fire in the hole. Boom. That's what TNT... TNT does. It goes boom. <laughs> Love having fun on my channel. Next on the list, we got some Batman vehicles. We'll definitely review these as a set with a couple Batmans I have. That golden Batman as well. So they go straight in the toy haul bin. We got a 12-inch blue Superman. This is just weird. I've never seen that before. I think Bert's probably seen these at the thrift store, for all I know. Going to definitely review that, for sure. We got some Power Rangers as well. We got some Hot Wheels cars for our collector's case. We got this Spider-Man car, which I thought was sick. Iron Man. Batmobile. Jurassic Park vehicle. Going in my Hot Wheels case. If you think I should do a review on my Hot Wheels stuff, then please leave me a comment. I appreciate any comment you can leave. Next, we got some Imaginex style figures. We got Shazam and Firefly, which I do not have in my DC collection. Some more DC stuff to review with DC. Why not? We got a Bowser from Mario. I was so stoked to find this at the thrift store. I'm definitely keeping him. I am not give, giving him away. He is going in my collection of Mario. So we're going to start another random basket just for stuff like that. All right, then. Next on the list, we got a Princess Peach. Definitely be reviewing her at random. Yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff. We got some 1980s MLP action, which I will be reviewing these. With the MLP castle I found and all the MLP I found. So definitely love finding some 1980s action. Even though it's before my time. We got three of these cool looking Ryan's Worlds. The only reason I bought them was because... This one reminds me of Cyborg. This one's kooky crazy. Look at that. He's scary looking. And we got Robot Bear. 
Go in my robot collection. That's for certain. Got another one of these construction worker dudes. I use these as security guards for my Gotham City Jail, which is just a clever reuse of these figures. I don't even know what line they're from. I'm sure if you know, you'll leave me a comment. Next, we got a Treasure X, Di Treasure X figure. Oh, this is a creepy one. Yeah, it's like a samurai-style beast. That's cool. We did get a TMNT figure. It's everybody's favorite party dude, Michelangelo. Baby Michelangelo. Definitely keeping him. Not going to be getting rid of him. He's just too cool. We got a Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. That's pretty cool. We got... A wrestler. This is made of die cast metal. Definitely picked him up. Logic, pick, logical pickup. We got a Roblox figure. Look at this guy. He's got an antler hat. Oh, I think that's cool. We got a wooden like zombie, like brains. That's what zombies go <laughs> in some movies, like Night of Living Dead. And yeah, he's just blocky and cool looking, but he looks like a zombie. I bet if I paint some little blood stains on him or something, he'll make a mean looking wooden zombie. For sure. Next, we got a Skylanders figure. I do pick these up. I don't know if you can play this game anymore, but I do like the figures, and this will be displayed with all my other video games figures. It's just too cool. Next on the list, we got some masks. We got Darth Vader. I sense a disturbance in the force. I do a pretty good impression of Vader, don't I? Definitely not going to review that. It'll probably hang up somewhere. But cool, right? We got a Batman mask. I'm Batman. Couldn't help my impressions. I'm kind of going impression crazy. Next, we got a Last Night Optimus Prime. Mask knockoff. At the end of this day, one shall stand, one shall fall. It's a cool mask. Definitely look forward to just putting that on my random Transformers shelf and display. Next on the list, we got this guy. I don't know. I don't know where he's from. Yeah, he's Blippy, apparently. I don't know what show he's from, but I picked him up from the thrift store. Store for by the pound. Probably why I got him. He's probably just going to go on the random figure shelf and display. But still pretty cool to throw in the random. Next, we got the Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean. Jack Sparrow! I couldn't help the impression, man. I just do a good impression of this guy. Yeah, he does not like Jack Sparrow. Next, we got a Black Panther mask. I got those claws. And if I were to go cosplaying as him, I just have to wear nothing but black. And put some black gloves underneath my claws, and I could totally pull off Black Panther. Wakanda forever. So, yeah. Next on the list, we got this. Boo Light, which we found at the thrift store. And it works, man. This is cool. Definitely going to go on the shelf. It lights up and everything. I'm not even going to bother reviewing it. It's just literally going to go on my shelf. Next, we got a couple of dinosaurs. Look at these. These are going on my Jurassic Park shelf. I don't have these particular ones, but it's cool when I find some dinosaurs to go on my Jurassic Park collection. And some, some fearsome ones at that. 
Definitely going to go in the random bin to be reviewed. They're just too cool not to review in the randoms. We got this Marvel diecast Thor. Look at this. This is just so cool. And the cape and the metal. I love it. He's definitely going to go on my random shelf. I'm not even going to bother reviewing him. He's just that cool. Next, we got a Halo Infinity Grunt. Mike, you know how these guys always run for Master Chief? Run away! We're all going to die! Run away! He killed, he killed a Grunt! Make a run for it! <laughs> Sorry, my Grunt impression is pretty good. Definitely going to be putting the random stuff. He is just too cool not to review. <laughs> yeah. Next, we got some Marvel 12-inch figures I did not have. We got Ant-Man and Thor, and he's got his hammer. Look forward to reviewing these as a set and putting them on my shelf. They're just too cool. So I did pick up some Marvel stuff. We got another Marvel Thor figure. It's Valkyrie. I did not have her. I think it might be Valkyrie. Yeah, it looks like Valkyrie for all I know. Or it could be one of the Eternals. If you know, leave me a comment. I don't know for certain. But I picked her up because I like Marvel figures. Next, we got some... Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We got a Dragon Zord, a Goldar. Oh, Goldar and Red Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Stumpy figure. Yeah, he's a Stumpy Red Ranger. <laughs> Bert always finds these guys at the thrift store, and they're so stumpy. <laughs> but I look forward to adding Goldar and the Dragon Zord to my collection. I will have to. Try to review those as a set. All three of them, though. So, look forward to showing you those when I review them. All right, then. Next, we got these Just Dance figures. I found these at my workplace. Someone threw them out in Happy Meals, and I got them both for free. Look at that. I don't think I'll be reviewing these things. I'll probably just take them to camp to play with my friends or something. To Woodlands to play with my friends. But other than that, they're free. I didn't pay a dime for them. So not bad. For sure. We do got this uh, Ninja Turtle weapon of Raphael's Scythe. So I do have some more turtle action. I love some Ninja Turtle weapons. <laughs> You know me, I like finding Ninja Turtle stuff, even if it's weapons. They'll just go on my shelf and be displayed. Next, we got this huge, huge dragon. Ah, there goes that white Pokeball. Sorry about that, I have to grab that. Ah, almost dropped that, that white Pokeball decide decided to go rolling off. <laughs> Nothing worse than that. And this red dragon is so cool. I'm going to review that and put that with my Dungeons and Dragons collection. It's just too cool not to review. But it's too big to fit in my baskets right now. Unless I do some serious arranging. Okay, put the DC up top. Put the random figures up top. Next wave of random figures up top. And yeah, that'll be a cool set to definitely review and display. But isn't this so cool? It's like it popped right out of the Mighty Morphin show. Isn't this so cool? It's supposed to go 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 Power Rangers at one point, but I can't seem to get that to go. Now it's doing it. Oh, that is just so cool, right? In brand new condition, this thing is like a $50 figure, like a $150 figure. 
And I got this for by the pound. I love this. As soon as I get it to close. It's, it's supposed to roll around, but I guess it's getting where it's not going to roll around as much. Let's turn this thing off to save batteries. But yeah, this is the coolest piece I got at the thrift store. I love this as much as finding Goldar and all the other figures I just found there. And if you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on. Oh, and make sure you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.